Okay, so I know I look a hot mess. Um, it's because I just woke up a little bit ago, and um, my it's um, the day after Christmas, and um, <coughs> so don't even mind how I look. I, I'm just trying to hurry up and get this done before my four-year-old wakes up. Um, so don't mind my hair and that I have no makeup on. Um, I'm just trying to do this quickly. Um, so, um, I've been going through some health issues and I think I said on one of my videos before that I was going to talk about this. Um, and so this is going to be like my first video, um, ever. And hopefully he doesn't wake up in the middle of this. <laughs> um, so, um, like a couple years ago, I, um, noticed some pain in my back and it was pretty severe and I thought that it was from moving refrigerators with my husband and kids. We were about to go on vacation and our refrigerator just pretty much died so we had to buy a new one so we were moving them like back and forth and um basically everyone else was supposed to like do their part and i was gonna do my part and we counted to three and nobody else did anything except me and um, I pulled up on the dolly that the fridge was on and I felt like cracks in my back, like your, when your back cracks, you know? And so, um, after that, like I felt initial pain, like when your back cracks and then it went away. And so I figured, oh, it's fine, you know? Um, so I didn't do anything about it, and, um, right after that, like, I think it was the next day or the day after, we ended up leaving for New Jersey, um, on new vacation, and, um, we stayed in, like, one of those, um, what do you call it, mobile home type, uh, park models, uh, in a, um, resort, and, we stayed there for a week and I thought like my back started to hurt really bad and I thought that maybe it was because of the beds there. I thought the bed was just really, the mattress was jacked up and so, um, so I didn't think anything of it. Um, but like as time went on, my back just started to hurt worse and worse. Um, and then it started in my lower back and it just like moved up and before I knew it, it was like all the way up to like back here, like the very top of my spine. So, um, that my cat and he's taking, no, he's take, he was trying to take my hair tie. Oh, my house is trashed because of Christmas. So yeah, it's not usually messy, but, um, so anyway, um, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, I have really bad memory because of everything. Get off my hair tie. Kitty. Kitty. And it, oh, sorry, I get distracted. Get off. He's biting me. Ow. Um, so anyway, um, I, um, I thought it was the mattresses and stuff, so I just, like, didn't think anything of that. So, like, I, um, I ended up coming home from vacation. Um, it just, everything just kept getting worse and worse, so I ended up going to the doctor about it, and, um, at the time I had a girl doctor, and she ran tests, um, she ran tests on my back. <laughs> oh, there he is. Okay, you gotta go change your pull up. Go change your pull up. Go in the bedroom and change your pull up. So she ran tests on my back and had like MRIs and stuff and she didn't find anything. Um, and um, so she ran like a, a one on different parts and then at 
then at one point she saw she thought she saw a fracture so they sent me for um, therapy and the therapy didn't do anything um, didn't help me it actually hurt my back worse and so I ended up quitting the therapy um, so <clears throat> then um, time went on and I like I'm not sure how much time but time went on and I noticed that my toes started to feel numb and um, so it started like in my right foot I got numbness in my toes it felt like I was wearing toe socks and I hate toe socks like so hate good job okay just hold on okay okay um mommy's making a video say hi youtube hi to you. <laughs> it's just youtube um give me one minute okay? okay why don't you go put your jammies on so you're not cold go put your paw patrol jammies on real quick okay. yeah and then by the time you're done mommy might be ready yeah, there's your shirt. Put your shirt on and then put your pants on. So, um, I would notice that and then, um, it would come and go and it would be on, it would be, it would be on for, like, mm, months and then it would go for months, be on for months, go for months and it would just keep doing that and every time it would come back it would be worse and it would, it would spread and it would go up further on my foot. And then eventually it moved to my other foot. And then it would just, and then it, you know, it started in my fingers. And then it, and then it started up my hands. And then it moved up my arms and up my legs. And, um, that started about two years ago. Um, it was the summer of 2015. And then, um, I mean, eventually just other symptoms started. And, um, <laughs> Then, um, I got started to get chronic migraines to the point where, um, they put me in the ER because they hurt so bad. Oh, hold on. You got to button the needs unbuttoned. There you go. No, there, there we go. <laughs> um, and then, Kyler, you're turned around. No, no, no stop um and then um so like I have I get like weird um pain hold on okay hold on one minute get your pieces out and lay it everything on the floor I get weird pain um like stabbing pains and crawling pain or crawling sensations and stuff um and so anyway, the doctors tried um, every single test, every single blood test. Uh, they tested me for diabetes. They tested me for um, lupus and every different thing you could think of, um, Lyme's disease. Um, everything came back negative. Um, they took every blood test um, under the sun. They did a spinal tap, nothing. Um, they did uh, multiple x-rays and MRIs they did um, they did multiple EMGs which all came back um, abnormal um, they said that I had a demyelinating sensory motor neuropathy um, which led that which led them which led my neurologist to send me to a muscular a neuromuscular doctor and he did um, another EMG, um, and he said it that it didn't it didn't really worsen a whole lot compared to the ones that I had had before. So he pretty much knew that like I had a genetic um, inherited disease. So what he did was. Um, ordered genetic testing and it took like three to four weeks to come back. Kyler, shh, not so loud, okay? Ky Kyler, please. So, um, when that came back, he found out that I am missing a chromosome and, um, I'm missing a copy of the PM22 
um, chromosome and the genetic disease I have it is called hereditary neuropathy with liability to pressure palsies and it, I know it's a mouthful <laughs> um, for short it's HNPP and um, it can be passed down to your kids um, I'm not sure what the pos what the I'm not sure what the um, like uh, percentage of possibility that would be but um, I I mean I talked to him uh, the doctor on the phone about this but I still really don't know a whole lot um, so I have to go and meet with him um, it was literally probably it's probably like maybe a week ago that I found all of this out um, so I still need to talk to him and have another appointment with him and he's talking about having my two kids tested um, because there's going to be things that we're going to have to do. Um, so I mean I, we're going to have to, um, we're going to have to, you know, do preventative measures um, to try and you know have the best quality of life possible um as far as i know this is not progressive but there are things that can make it worse so with pressure palsies um you know i'm resting my arm right here my elbow like uh, i was resting my elbow right here and really i shouldn't be doing that because it can cause my arm to go sleep and it can damage the myelin sheath and stuff and you're not supposed to do that and so you know I'm gonna have to learn a lot of new things as to what I'm not supposed to be doing um, because I know there's things you know like just the way I'm sitting you know not supposed to be doing that but you know there's so many things that I have a habit of doing that I just do without thinking and you know I can't help it I just I just do it you know the kids aren't going to be able to sit on my lap anymore um, I'm not going to be able to cross my legs I I won't be able to cross my ankles or I can't kneel on the floor um, you know there's a lot of things I won't be able to do um, uh, just so that I can preserve the nerves in my body so um, I don't know but I'm gonna get through this um, I'm a firm believer in God and I don't think he'd bring me to this to not get me through it so um, and then I have my family and I have you know my parents and my husband and my kids um, so and I have my closest friends I have best friends and I've got my church family so you know and I'll keep you guys updated on my doctor's appointments and what I find out and you know maybe each day try to make a video and tell you how I'm feeling and you know what I had a hard time with that day so but for now I'm gonna go because my little man wants me to put together his track that he got for Christmas so hope you guys all had a great Christmas okay I'll see you later bye